First of all, then, uh, put your stamp on the start of the season. How have you found it? No, I feel like obviously it's been a different start for me, obviously, to, um, to have won so many games at the start. Um, that's the start, sorry. Um, and secondly, obviously, this is the first time I've started um, a, f a full season since, I think it was 2000 and 2016. Um, so I think I'm just relishing the moment of obviously putting a jersey on every day and, um, and, and showing the fans what I can do, you know, and I feel like um, I'm slowly building, building rhythm um, towards the, the winter time where, where I should be fly, fly high and, you know, and, and show everyone what I can do. Every time I'm, I'm, I'm named in the starting lineup, I have a point to prove, you know, and I feel like um, as the games go on, I'm, I'm getting stronger and stronger, you know, now it's, it's all about connecting, connecting all the dots together, you know, to, to bring a, a, a match winning performance or I've certainly not helped the team um, push, push to the levels that we know this team can push to. You have though made a good start. Three wins from four and a and a what if down at Millwall. How how pleased are you with that? Yeah, I feel like that's credit to the um, to the camp. It just shows the group that we have. Like everyone wants to run. Like if you look at the stats um, in the changing room after games on on the Monday, it's, it's incredible that there's always there's always a top three and, and the stats. Everyone who's not in the top three still run ridiculous amounts, and it it just shows that willing and that desire that everyone has and. and Everyone's on the same page, so it helps. And it brings about competition for places, not least at right fullback. Really, there's loads of you. Yeah, there is. I think there's yeah. loads. There's loads of fullbacks. There's loads of centre mids, and I feel like it's um, it's a good thing because it helps you strive to to be the best you can be. You know, and and any day you let your standards down, you're always reminded that there's always someone who can who can take your position at the end of the day. So I feel like you need to perform to the best of your ability, and, and if you're not, I'm, I'm sure Bully. Um, and the coaching staff, they will, they will choose whoever's right, whoever they feel like who's right for the job, you know, and, and that's it. However, it did sort of bring a, a thought in my mind. It's not that long ago. Well, it probably is in football terms. When we saw you playing for, for Late Orient and you got 12 goals in that season, you've kind of been doing that at right back, can you? So playing further forward, is that still an option for you, do you think? Um, never rule it out, you know. I feel like I'm, I'm like a modern day fullback now, and, and I feel like what we have on the wing. This season, you know, is something that the club's obviously lacked for for a couple of years, um, and credit to the boys on the wing because they're they're a, they're a handful, um, and I feel like they're going to be very important for us this this season, you know. So for me, it's just um, playing in, and playing where I can play and helping the team pick up three points week in week out. Preston, then just finally from me, what what what's your assessment of them and, and the challenge they pose? Um, every time I've gone to deep down, it's been. <laughs> Um, it's been tough, and you know what you're going to get. They're going to be in your face, and and I feel like this year I watched them the other day against. Um, uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> and um, and obviously Stoke, obviously on the day didn't really perform, um, but you can see that Preston have got quality now, you know, and, and that's something that they lacked for a couple of years. But um, I feel like it's going to be a very tough game. And, and we need to do what we can today in the training pitch to, to, to look as much as where we can affect them as possible, you know, and, and cause an upset.